video is going to help with the Alex topic, total cost, including tax or markup, and that's in the percents pie slice. So remember, tax on an item is something the store has to add um, when they sell something. And then a markup, right, refers to um, what they charge versus what they paid for it. Right? So they had to get that product from somewhere. But in order to make a profit, they have to sell it for more than what they paid for. So we're going to look at an example with that today. So the wholesale price for a pair of shoes let's say is 550, right? So wholesale means the price that the manufacturing company is selling the shoes for. So the shoe store buys each pair of shoes for 550, but if they sell them for 550, they're not going to make a profit. They they won't make they'll break even. They're not losing money, but you know, their goal is to make money. So they're going to do what's called a markup, and in this case they're doing a markup of 90%. So the shoes are going to be 90% more expensive for a customer to buy than they were for the store to buy. There's two ways we can solve problems like this, and I'm going to show you both. So we need to determine what 90% of 550 is. We know we can represent 90% as the decimal. 0 0.9. And to find 90% of 550, we can multiply that 0 0.9 by 550. So if you take a moment and do that, that will get you to 495. Now remember, that's not the price that you're paying. That's 90% of 550. To find what you're paying, we need to add these two together. So remember, it's a markup. So the price is increasing by 90%, or in this case, 495. So if we add our original cost to the markup cost, we get that the shoes are going to cost a customer $10.45. Now, the other way you could do this is by recognizing that if it's going to be marked up by 90%, you are paying 1.9 times the original amount. Right, you're paying the whole thing, that's the one, and then the 90%. And if we multiply 1.9 by 550, we get that same $10.45. So you can do it whichever way makes the most sense for you. If it makes sense to calculate the portion of the percentage and then add, go for it. If you want to jump right in to um, multiplying in one step, go for it. Find the method that is going to work best for you.